Yo, magandang araw mga idol. Matapos talonin ni 8 Division World Champion Manny Pacquiao noong July 2003 ang Noy Undefeated at Future Prospect ng Mexican na si Emmanuel Lucero sa isang impresibong knockout sa round 3 ay sunod naman niyang pinataob ang Mexican Warrior na si Marco Antonio Barrera na tinalo naman niya via technical knockout sa round 11. Bagamat naging tabla ang kinalabasan ng unong pagtatagpo ni Pacquiao at Marquez ay lakas loob na umakyat ng timbang si Manny Pacquiao sa Super Featherweight Division upang sagupain ang noy 3-time world champion na Mexican boxer na si Eric Morales na may kasalukoy ang record na 41 wins with 34 knockout at dalawang talo lamang at iyong dalawang talo ni Morales ay galing lahat kay Marco Antonio Barrera na kamakailan lamang bago ang kanilang laban ni Pacquiao at Morales ay tinalo umano ni Pacman kaya naman sa laban ay mas naging pabor ang mga manunood kay pambansang kamaoma ni Pacquiao March 2005 ang unang pagharap ni Pacquiao at Morales Pinaglabanan nila ang banganting IBA, World Super Featherweight at WBC, International Super Featherweight title. perfectly disciplined boxers fight. Hard left hand by I think in part what's going on here is you ain't never boxed before. You gotta know boxing in order to see what Sa mga unang rounds ng laban ay makikitang halos dikit lang ang score ng dalawang fighter dahil nasasabayan ni Morales kung anumang mga patama ang binibitawan ni Pacquiao. Subalit, bago nga pumasok ang ikalimang round ay nagkaroon ng bitak sa kanang kilay ni Pacquiao dahilan upang hindi ito makakita ng maayos at hindi makapagpatama dahil natatakpan nang umaagos na dugo ang mata ni Pacman at dahil dyan ay unti-unti nang nakalamang ang Mexicano Joe Cortez is the one who ruled that the cut was caused by a punch not a headbutt that decision can't be changed Pacquiao clearly feels as though he looks at it as if to say I'm a bigger man you're fighting at 130 Welcome to my neighborhood. Nanalo si Eric Morales via unanimous decision. Ito ang unang pagkatalo ni Manny Pacquiao sa Amerika. Subalit sa pagkatalong iyan ni Pacman ay hati ang opinion ng mga tao dahil nga sa putok na kilay ni Pacman. Dahil paano ka nga naman makakatama ng maayos sa iyong kalaban 
kung natatakpan ng dugo ang iyong mga mata at matapos ang laban kay Morales ay dito na nagsimulang palakasin ni Coach Freddy Roach ang kanang kamao ni Pacman. Ayon kay Coach Freddy ay hindi masyadong nagagamit ang kanang kamao ni Pacquiao kaya naman naisip ni Coach Freddy na gawin kaliwat kanan ang gamitin ni Pacquiao at ito raw ang magiging susi sa mga susunod niyang mga laban at hindi na muling papayag pa ang fighting senator na muling matalo sa mga susunod niya pang mga laban kaya naman halos dinoble ni Manny Pacquiao ang kanyang pag-iensayo at determinado si Manny Pacquiao na makabawi September 2005 bago ang ikalawang pagtutuos nila ni Morales ay pinabagsak niya muna ang isa pang Meksikano na si Hector Velasquez tinalo niya ito via technical knockout sa round 6 at noong January 2006 ay nagharap muli si Pacquiao at Morales sa ikalawang pagkakataon kumpiyansa ang kampo ni Morales na muli niyang magagapi ang ating pambansong kamao sa ikalawang pagkakataon subalit ang hindi alam ni Morales na malaki na pala ang iniprove ng dating Pacquiao na nakaharap niya This is the way the first fight went. They loosened up and traded punches both to the way. Morales backs Pacquiao up with a big right hand. Almost knocks him down with the right hand. Stop. Balance gets to be so bad when he starts his exchanges. And that's going to be a big factor. Too hard to yeah. way too often in the first fight. The idea is to get inside and set it up. Here's a good body shot by Pacquiao. Morales momentarily... Each other up in another way right now. A flurry at the end of the round by Pacquiao. The balance once again of Pacquiao, which may end up being a bigger factor because he's punching good, but he loses his balance often. But he's a right hook. He must be listening to you, Jim. He's starting to work with his right jab right there. That's what he Pac needs to do. He has to be a two-handed fighter instead of a one-handed fighter. Hand by Pacquiao, backs yeah. Morales up. That makes a big difference because if I was training someone to fight, I might have him primarily looking for a straight left through the middle. There it is. A hard left hand touches up Morales and momentarily stuns there. But Morales always fights back when he's stunned. There's so much fun about it. They won't take a punch for an answer. They're going to reply. The war is on. That separates fighters like Morales. Pacquiao says he's got the punches gloves. Manny, 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 the gloves. Right between the gloves. And Morales has not stopped the straight left chance. And, and they he almost the... knocks Morales down with the left. Yeah, the straight lefts are landing. Hand at all tonight. No, he doesn't have any defense. The only defense he has is to just fight. His Pacquiao just missed there. with the left that might have sent Morales home early. Here you see the left jab of Morales, which has turned out to be the most effective punch for him. And here's the straight left through the center of Pacquiao's. Which... Way through. Pacquiao lands a straight left. Right hand catches Morales. And another right hook as Pacquiao follows up immediately. Morales goes back to the jab. Pacquiao's energy level going up. That was to, about a tough 10 or 12 seconds for Morales. I think that has to do with Pacquiao also being a little tired. He spit some blood out into the bucket between rounds. That's good. Catches Morales with a straight left. Eric manages to duck and slip a couple. And he's off balance. And then he has, he has, he has no legs. It is very, very, very weak. Yeah, he's fighting, but his legs are so weak that at any time he can go. There he goes. Good call, Manny. That's the first real knockdown of Eric Morales. Yeah, down. But it's almost impossible to imagine it now. It's over. There's the second knockdown and the stoppage. Nanalo si Pacquiao via technical knockout sa round 10. Hindi makapaniwala si Morales na nagawa siyang patumbahin ni Manny Pacquiao. At tangi si Pacman lamang ang tangi nakapagpapagsak sa kanya. At dahil sa sobrang ganda nang ipinakita ng dalawang fighter sa una at ikalawa nilang pagkaharap ay umabot pa ito sa isang trilogy. Subalit, bago nga mangyari, ang ikatlong pagkaharap ng dalawang boxer ay sinabi ni Senator Manny Pacquiao na ito na ang laban na magpaparitiro kay Eric Morales. November 2006, muli naglaban si Pacquiao at Morales 
sa ikatlong pagkakataon. They are called pillows by some. They are more unofficial weights. Manny's the bigger guy. Well, you know, the fact that Morales wanted to use the puncher's glove. Good body punches to test Morales. He's is... coming to try to get him early. Eric has shown none of that in the first round. Not only his defense, but long-term his staff. Right hook from Manny Pacquiao was so much better with his right hand in the second fight than in the first. Another right hook lands. Back. Yeah. And Morales again countering properly upstairs. And Manny consistently beating Morales to the punch so far. And Morales countering with a right hand. For these fighters, this is just a warm up round. Yeah. May have been a warm up round. Pacquiao crowd chanting Manny, Manny, Manny. Morales, who landed some good right hands in the first. Back house, and of course you have Fight tried to drive Pacquiao back with right hands there, but Manny comes back with a torrent. And among ardent, spirited Filipino and Filipino American leaders for Pacquiao. What's interesting, a lot of the Mexican fans like Pacquiao. Another body shot by Pacquiao's fighter to stay away from the ropes and in the center of the ring. Good jab by Morales, sweeping right hand partially blocked. That's difficult for every opponent. He looks so strong and so sturdy. Pacquiao lands a right and a left. And another right hook. And a left. As compared to Morales, even though Morales is landing, he seems to be still uncoordinated. As compared to... Down goes Morales on a Pacquiao right hand. He got over, he got overexcited, overextended himself, and left himself open. I just don't think he has the strength. Pacquiao and they led ultimately to the end of the fight. The first knockdown of Morales' career was a glove-touching brush in the back. He goes down easier against Pacquiao than against anybody else he's ever fought. That's because of how quick... Eric Morales, not a... Oh, what a solid left hand by Pacquiao. It's hard to imagine how Morales can last long against this. He strafes Pacquiao with right hands, even while on unsteady feet. Well, until he goes out, he's going to be fighting all the way down. He's not going to back up. What guts by Morales! And the brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. Nanalo si Senator Manny Pacquiao via knockout sa round 3. Kung sa ikalawang pagkaharap nila ay umabot pa sa round 10, bago pa bagsakin ng antipambato si Morales eh sa ikatlong pagkakataon ay kinakailangan lamang ni Pacman ng tatlong rounds upang patumbahin ang tinaguriang El Terrible ng Mexico.